Okay, uh, so finally, oh, I was definitely not watching how to fix OBS tutorials. Yeah, so I've been away for some time and I'm not really, you know, back yet with, um, with a, a series or something. I just wanted to make this quick video about what I'm up to and something that I have interesting to share. Um, so one of these days, I just wanted to make a video about some of the resources uh, that's been that's that I've been working on with my team at Lance TV. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I'm currently at Lance TV. Um, so, I mean, since the time I started to make content and actually, you know, build machine learning models and things like that, I you know a lot of lot, lot has changed. So back then, you know, it was all about someone writes a research paper and it's actually reproducible on a single GPU device. Single GPU was good enough for doing machine learning and and you know colab was good enough for training models um now that has changed obviously people you know people don't train models anymore it's more about fine tuning and and all of that so anyway so in this era of llms how do you get started with llms gen ai and things like that so i've been working on this curated set of examples for vector db recipes so it essentially is divided into three sections. First section is um, is a set of examples uh, that you can use also as a boilerplate for your applications that you build uh, um, that that are based on LLMs and Gen AI and and you know just something that is more applied, not just theoretical. So for example, you know we, it has a bunch of tags as well, so you can just open most of them in a collab so that you just get started with it. But you know, it's it, they, they are available. In, some some of them are available as Python scripts, as JavaScript uh, scripts. They're also available. The tags also mention if they they are uh, built using local LLMs or some sort of API. Anyway, so I mean, these examples are pretty much like you know YouTube's transcript search bar. So you, you know you build a search bar that goes across YouTube, YouTube's uh, tr transcripts, and then you, know, you can build a documentation QA bot and, and all of that, right? So uh, this is a bunch of examples of a hybrid search, search within images. This one is definitely a, a very cool example. You know, it's, you can just sort of search within an image, and then so this basically combines um, clip with SAM segment anything model. So what you can do is you can search for a dog, and then it uses segment anything model to first find that image, and then search for a particular, uh, or seg segregate the particular object from from that image and so it's it's a very cool example of uh, of you know multimodality applied with uh, with vector search and all of that so it's pretty cool so it has a bunch of examples starting with you know just simple qa bot bots and stuff and then uh, hybrid search multilingual search and then searching within images all of that and then movie recommender so all of the traditional machine learning pipelines built with or, or or operations built with uh, a slightly different touch of vector databases and similarity search and, and ranking and stuff like that and then we come down to the you know the the uh, the most popular sort of uh, i would say architecture or maybe most popular techniques right now which is called rag which is uh, retrieval augmented generation and here you know you get started with rag which is like we don't really cover RAG, like building a RAG, because there are RAG frameworks out there. So we start with how do you improve RAG? So that's like re-ranking, and then different RAG architectures, and then all of that, right? Advanced uh, advanced stuff. And then we talk about evaluating stuff, and then we talk about reducing hallucination, and all of that. And then these are just examples. So it's essentially, if you just go through all of them, you're essentially up to date with all that's happening in the field. And it's completely like being maintained right now. And then, uh, you know, and then you have um, projects and applications. So these are more sort of uh, projects or examples that have a user interface, right? Whether, whether these are written in Python or some of them are written in uh, Node, you know, so you can use either of them. So for example, here we have chat, website chatbot. You just, just add a website, it scrapes everything and builds a chatbot instantly. And talk with uh, any video using GPT-4 Vision, talk with podcast. And then you know talk with these are just you know a user interface with a, a chatbot, and then and then we have multimodal search engine, so you can just 
search images uh, through text or search images through images right so both, both of them work and, and you know these are these are the applications with user interface and then these are some tutorials right? these are not necessarily uh, practical implementations uh, some of them are obviously but these are more about you know how do you build stuff from scratch these are more more sort of in-depth uh, uh, tutorials that actually clear most of the concepts if you're feeling like you know, it's too high level for you you need something uh, you, you're more of a you know bottom up learner so that is this is something for you um, so this is essentially a repository that uh, I've been working on and I think you know uh, I should share this with the world because it is uh, it is it is built by a lot of people uh, you know that there are not even all of them are not even at Lance. So this is essentially this is essentially a community project and I would and I'm currently accepting a lot of contributions as well so it's like if you're interested and you know you want to, to you know build your examples and get them out into the world and in front of a lot of people I would say you know you could come here and and start to contribute and and yeah uh, I'll be happy to accept most of the contributions so you see we have a few PRs open right now and and I'm gonna accept them uh, if I have any uh, sort of feedback I just provided here so this is definitely something that I recommend uh, this is definitely something that I'm I'm going to be maintaining for at least uh, you know the foreseeable future for for a few months down the line so so yeah uh, this is what I wanted to make a video about I have a few other things that I'm currently working on but I'm currently very occupied with those things so I don't have enough time but I definitely want to come back and start making videos I have a nice setup now I also have some you know aesthetic uh, setup uh, I have I have this you know light system that just is really cool and then it's, it makes the whole, whole room look whole, whole room look uh, very aesthetic and and all of that but uh, yeah I'm just too lazy sitting on my bed right now so uh, we'll see uh, if I decide to make more videos but yeah, uh, for those of for those of you who haven't yet uh, unsubscribed, this is uh, one of the things that I'm working on, and yeah, that's pretty much it. See you in the next one.